In this video, we visit Cebu in the Philippines. Known for its thrilling activities, underwater pursuits, and amazing waterfalls, it's definitely a place for those who want an adventure. Join us as we explore some of the sights and activities the island has to offer. We started off with a ridiculously early coach ride from the capital Cebu city, making our way to Malbo, which will be our base for the next few days. After literally dropping our bags off at the hotel, we made our way to our first activity, which would be canyoning at Kawasan Falls. Now, canyoning was definitely a first for me, and from what I heard before coming to Cebu, it was a must-do on the island. But you're given two options to get to the falls from where the bus drops you off. You can either do a 45 minute walk, or you can take the zip line. For me, someone who doesn't mind heights, it wasn't a problem taking the zip line. For my girlfriend, however, who is afraid of heights, it was more of a tricky choice. And when the whole group decided to do the zip line, in the end, it seemed like peer pressure won. The zip line was absolutely brilliant, although I did find the end and coming to a stop was probably the scariest bit. We then headed down some more steps and we got our first glimpse of the turquoise water. As you can see, there was a bit of a queue to actually get started, but as you'll see later on, this does get better. So as you progress through the canyon, the jumps get higher and higher, and I think the highest was about 10 meters. I'll be honest, I didn't do that one, and I think I tapped out at eight meters. The terrain was a really good mix. It was much more technical than I thought it would be, but full credit to the guides as they were always really helpful and supportive around the tricky areas. One thing I really loved was floating down the river and just looking up at all the trees overhanging the canyon. Midway through, there is an opportunity to get some snacks, but I'll be honest, when you're midway through, you're not really that hungry. We were also quite surprised to only be halfway, as it would taken us quite a long time to get there, but we were told the second half would be a bit quicker as the train is less tricky. During this section, the canyon really opened up and it felt like you were walking through the jungle. final section of the route had a rope swing, which was really good fun. As we neared the end, we spotted some waterfalls that looked quite familiar from the photos you see online. At the end of the trail, we were greeted to a well-earned buffet lunch before then heading back to the hotel. It really was a great experience and well worth the money, time and effort. The next morning, it was another really early bus ride to Oslob, where we'd go diving with the whale sharks. I guess there's some controversy around seeing the whale sharks in Oslob, as they are fed from the boat and effectively lured to this area, which can disrupt their behavior and the local environment. It's also very commercialized and very popular. No surprise, as it gives people a guarantee of seeing these amazing sharks. I'll leave it to you to decide whether it's right for you or not. In the end, we did wait about three hours for our turn, we did question the logic of arriving here so early, as everyone pretty much has the same idea, so everyone just arrives at the same time. As we got on the boat, it seemed like those remaining in the queue got there much later and didn't wait as long, so that might be something to bear in mind and research beforehand. Once we got down below the water and saw our first whale shark, we were totally amazed. It was such an impressive sight. Due 
to the rough sea and the fact that you're holding your breath every 10 seconds, it does get pretty tiring towards the end. I would recommend to any confident swimmers to just remove your life jacket as it does make it much easier to get under the water. Nonetheless, I think I've got some pretty good footage here. next thing we did was go to a not quite so secret waterfall and once we got there the last little bit involved a pretty scary bike ride. It was quite funny actually because we were just told to get on the bike and the next thing we knew we were hurtling down this really steep hill. The actual waterfall itself was pretty amazing and the colour of the water made it a very photogenic spot. To end what was a really busy day, we headed back to Malbol to do the sardine run, a chance to see the huge schools of sardines which are located just 20 to 30 metres from the shore. We found this an amazing experience and well worth doing, it was so mesmerising to watch the shapes and the colours created. After seeing the sardines, we were told there was a turtle nearby in the bay, a great way to top off what was an action-packed day. That evening, we headed back to Cebu City and checked into our hotel there. The next morning, you guessed it, another really early start to the day, this time to catch the ferry to the island of Bohol, most famous for the Chocolate Hills. When we arrived, we got a day tour package to see all the main sights, and the first stop was of course the Chocolate Hills. Now these really unique dome shaped hills are actually made of grass covered limestone. In the summer the grass turns brown, hence the name Chocolate Hills. After that we headed to the Tarsia Sanctuary. It was just amazing to see how small these things were. After that we headed to a place for lunch, which would actually be on a moving barge boat. The buffet lunch was really good and we even stopped off for entertainment as we went down the river. We did stop off at some other locations as we made our way back to the ferry, but to be honest it really wasn't worth showing. One of the places was a petting zoo and the way the animals were kept and looked after did look pretty questionable, should we say. On the whole, the trip to Bajo was okay, the surrounding area was really nice and I can see myself staying on the island for a couple of days, but we felt the tour was a bit rushed and wasn't really helped by the fact we were so exhausted from the early starts on the previous few days. And yeah, that wraps up this video. I hope it gave you a little insight into what it's like visiting Cebu. And in the next video, I'll show you our visit to the Palawan Islands. Mm -hmm.